Welcome to this Excel tutorial on five ways that you can use Flash Fill. This is Computer Tutoring. Hi, okay, so Flash Fill, you might have seen it on the top of your ribbon in Excel. Uh, maybe if you've gone to home and you've clicked on the fill drop down menu just here, you can see the Flash Fill icon just there. So you might have seen Flash Fill just there. Um, you might have right clicked and dragged and, and there's various ways. And how do you use it? We're going to look at five ways. That's what we're going to look at five ways to use this flash fill. And I've got these ways down at the bottom here. So you can see these, uh, the five uh, various ways just down here. So that's good. Oops. Can I zoom in? Oops. Yeah, we go. The five ways here. Ways one and two. Got ways three and the fifth way. Okay. So that's the fifth column here or the fifth sheet. Brilliant. So the first way. So just imagine this scenario here, you need to separate somebody's first name and their last name. Now, if you quickly want to do this, then Flash Fill is probably the best way, especially if their last names are double barreled as well. So Flash Fill will look at patterns. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's have a look at this example here. So I've got this first name just here. Let me just zoom in a touch so you can actually just see here. So if I just Zoom in. There we go. Joshua Charles. Notice as well, some of these have got double barreled names and I've been made it even more difficult and I've not put the little dash in between the two last names. So let's give that one a go. So I'm going to go to Joshua Ta Charles. I'm going to click in there. I'm just going to type in Joshua and press tab. I'm going to type in, um, actually, I'll just do Joshua first. Okay. So I can press click on Joshua here. And then what I can do is I can drag down here like so, let go. And I can choose flash fill just here. And you can see it's automatically picked up the first names. Looking good. All right then. So let's go on to the last name, shall we? So if we go to the last name, we've got Charles. So I'm going to type in Charles in here. Uh, I'm going to press control and enter, which is great. Control and enter keeps the focus on the same cell. Good practice to get into. I'm going to go down to here, drag down here with a right mouse button, let go, go to flash fill, and you can see it's automatically filled these up. But notice there is a little problem. If you have a look at Derek James Roberts, you can see it's only come up with Roberts here. So I'm just going to double click on that cell and go to the very beginning, just before the R, and type in the word James. Notice the little grey that's appeared over here. So I'm just typed in James in here and press enter. And you can see it's picked up the Harvey Oswald and it's picked up the Carlos Johnson. So there we go. So one way of using flash fill. Let's move on very quickly to another way. So if you look just over here on the right hand side, you can see uh, a little problem here. It's quite a common problem. Uh, dates, you've got the dates in the wrong order. You know, it's gone month, day and year. Now for our US friends, I do apologize, but this can be a real bone of contention for us over the, in, uh, um, over the other side of the, the Atlantic. Uh, and basically, if you look at that, my Excel formula, I've got these as uh, dates here. In fact, it's, it, as uh, they're left aligned, they're actually generally formatted. So it's not even recognized as a date. So how do I sort it? Well, we can, you bring flash fill comes to the rescue. So I just go to Unite UK date here, type it as I expected it, the 20th of March, not the 3rd of whatever that month is, I don't know, but it's the 20th of, of March, 2020. I'm just going to do control enter to bring that one in here. And I'm going to use the keyboard up the top here. Uh, sorry, the um, ribbon at the top. So on the home tab on the ribbon. So if I just scroll back there and give you just a quick. Uh, so that's the home tab on the ribbon. You can click on this drop down list here and you can choose flash fill from that drop down list. So if I do that, there we go and go to flash fill and you can see it's all filled up. Just make sure all the dates are right. Looking good. Brilliant. Okay, so let's go to our third way. So if we click on the ways three and four, and I'll provide the sheet as well, of course I will, uh, down below, so you can click on the and you know and follow along. Next one's going to be the old problem of I need to get everyone's email addresses. Now I know we've got their first name and their last name. Uh, for people with double barreled names, it's their first initial. <clears throat> excuse me, their first initial it will be, and then their last names together. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I just click on the first one here. I'm going to type J.Charles 
at, oops, make sure I spell Charles right, at computertutoring.co.uk. Okay, it's so going to do a different way for flash fill at the moment, but what I'm going to do is hold down control and enter to enter that. Keep control button held down, and we're going to press the letter E on the keyboard, and you can see it automatically fills that down. Woohoo! Looking good, isn't it? So as we look down, we go, great, excellent. Ah, here we go. We want to take the first time. So if I'm looking down this list here, I see the first time it's not really working is with Derek James Roberts. So just be careful with this here. In fact, I'm just going to make this a little wider. Here we go. Because I don't want to double click on this because it's going to take email to Derek James Roberts. That email address doesn't exist. So if, don't worry, you know, if you click on it, Derek James Roberts shouldn't be getting an email. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to double click to the right here. And I just want to put the word just before the R basically, or the cursor just before the R in Roberts. Type in James and can press enter. And you can see the flash fills automatically match the Harvey and the Carlos there. It is starting to be my bestest friend. Great. Excellent. So let's move on to another example. The fourth example. Let's say four example there. So if we go across, let's just zoom in here. So we've got the wrong date. Uh, I see people typing in dates like this all the time as I go out and conduct training courses. They put in full stops instead of forward slashes. Just if you're watching this and you're typing in a date, please type in a forward slash. Type in a forward slash. You won't have this problem. But if you do or you've received a spreadsheet that somebody has typed a forward slash in, well, you can click in here and you can type in the date as it should be. 06 forward slash 03 forward slash 2020. Brilliant. I'm going to use my new favorite, which is shortcut. Uh, control enter to, uh, to enter that and then control E to flash fill it. Have a look down. And now we've got proper dates. Excellent. Just one thing, quick thing as we're going through before we move on to the fifth way. And I bet you can't wait for that. But just one thing just to uh, note is if you just have a look, you see if you click on here and then just look at your formula bar here at the top, you'll notice, um, oops, let me just zoom in. You'll notice that is actually not with dates when you're putting it in. It's not a formula of any type. It's not um, using uh, left or concatenate or anything like that at all. No, it's just putting that in. It's, it's static. It's not dynamic. It's a static entry, just like you typed in the text yourself. That's what it is there. Great. Let's go to the fifth one. Oh, let's click on that fifth way there at the, the bottom. <gasps> Mailing address. So the idea is, is I want to have the first name. We've got the first name and last name separating. We've got addresses here. Uh, we can see that there's some gaps here as well. And let's see if Flashfill can pick that up as well. You'll also pick up a little tip as well here. Let, let's start, shall we? So if we go into H, I'm just going to click on H, start typing. So I want Joshua space Charles. Now I'm going to hold down the alt key on the keyboard and press enter to go to a new line within the cell. So make sure it's alt and enter. Then we can type in the address for this one here. So one Priory Street. Okay, I'm going to do alt and enter, bring down to a new line. Lewisham, alt, enter, London, alt, enter, SE3, 8JU. So I'm going to press Control Enter to get that entered in. You can see that's great. Should automatically, hopefully, have adjusted the height. Keep the Control key held down and tap E on the keyboard, and you can see it's automatically put the addresses. So this is a mailing address that I could use for whatever I wanted to, really. Um, now, as, again, when I don't have an address to here, I've got a space. So let's see how good Flash Fill is. I'm going to go here, just click just before the S in St. Ives. Back up one, I'm just going to press Control Enter to enter that one in there, and then you can have a look. And uh, it's got a couple of them in there, and it's actually done. Let's just go and try another one. Sometimes you have to get a bit more of the pattern, so I think Cambridge is the next one down. Let's see if we can do this one here. So just backspace up and press Enter, just uh, enter that one in here, see if that one's it. Yeah, so it's taken a couple for it to pick up that pattern. So there we go, five ways to use Flash Fill. Hope this has been helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you have done. Uh, if you haven't already done so as well, please click on the subscribe and the notifications button. I just wanted to say to everyone, thank you so much for watching.